Hi, and welcome to Odyssey of Ascension. It's Roxanne, Wednesday's channeling. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's get to uh, channeling, see what's out and about today. Out and about, they're all taking strolls up there. <laughs> I'm going to bump into somebody. Mm -hmm. Bump into a vibration, how cool. All right, here we go. Greetings to the collective, Lucifius here, we bid you all a good day. Understanding the idea, we will reflect, or let's say, parallel, hmm, in some fashions, the idea of your speaker, hmm, introduction, introduction rather, Seth. And those ideas, Seth was giving an idea of framework, ability, capability, within, outside, expansion of, one and two, things like that. If you do not, have not or let's say are familiar with that of Seth, and you're perfect now, you will be. Mm. So in the idea of your framework, your acceptable idea framework, you're walking along, and let's say in your current idea of life, you are finding penisy, pennies. Mm. And maybe as you find yourself awakening, one day you find yourself finding dimes along the ground, and quarters, and dollars, in such fashion. This is not luck, it is not coincidence, not your higher self giving you some kind of abundance in the moment. It is a representation of a framework, the one we shall, let's say, speak of today. The framework, as Aragon has touched upon, of worthiness. The more you expand your understanding of yourself and have chosen the worthiness to be the healer, that of angel, hmm? to be the choice of not let's say, following the status quo, that of Jen, hmm? that of Rita, not choosing to be the ideology of what all your sisters say you should be. Starting to choose your worthiness of myself experiencing joy instead of the obligation, hmm? responsibility, co-creation, let's say, guilt of ideas through your lifetimes of understanding not choosing those ideas, expanding your own self in your framework of worthiness. And it is directly represented on what you would call miracles. People walk by pennies and don't look at them as anything but a penny. But enough pennies added up in an easier fashion of, let's say, moving it to somewhere. If you had a billion pennies, it would be easier if it was in the form of dollar bills. We understand that. But it's the same representation of vibration of value. Your worth are pennies. These representations will be represented in many ideologies, but this is most conducive for you to equate in its immediacy. The more I accept my love, the more the love will be shown to me in different ideologies of representation. Truly. How you define yourself is what you bring, allow in, or keep out. If you cannot accept you are that awesome and keep playing the idea of I'm in such awe of myself, wow! Get the fuck over it or you're always going to be that framework of love. Your love for yourself according to your worthiness of that and that's your world. Because your world is vibration of I'm allowed. I'm worth it. I've been chosen to exist. What the fuck? I'll go at you with that one for a long time. Existence. You're aware. Hmm. Isn't that valued enough? Hmm? You get to breathe. You get to hate. You get to love. You get to cry. You get to eat sleep, you get to break bones, skin your knees, have your heart shattered, and built back together, find your own business, make yourself whole again and journey on as the brave ideology you have chosen to be. 
Where else can you do that? Hmm? To this degree, A, you're existing to do that. B, you've chosen to do that. Tell me your unworthiness now. I can't give it to you. Nobody can. We can sit here and talk forever to you, all of you. I can pop in as a vibrational third density co-created being that would blow your socks off, scare the shit out of you, but it doesn't matter how I appear to you. Because that's not convincing. You may convince yourself it's convincing. But until you choose your worthiness, you cannot be that grand of yourself. You cannot allow more of the vibrational realities that are always on the edge of your framework to be seen. Until you accept the value system of yourself in direct proportion with my own worthiness. Look at your framework. What do you see? When the awesomeness comes, do you hesitate in accepting it? Do you need that awesomeness as a badge of honors to brag to others that you're actually worth being alive and feeling it? And make sure they know that you're awesome about that. And get the grandeur from them. Oh, we will kick your ass on your own degradation. Look at yourself honestly. And you will be free from your own bounds. When do you get to decide to be God? We can't do it. I can bring a thousand other entities through here and a thousand other vibrational forms and we're going to tell you the same thing. You need to choose yourself. Because the separation is disconnected. The reconnection is choosing you. You live in a mirror. How can there be anything other to choose? Nothing in your reality is unchoosable. Nothing is unworthy. Nothing is irrelevant. Everything is as is. Love. Stop kicking your own ass and start accepting the awesomeness that you are. Be selfish. Be it. Turn other people down. Be disrespectful and reckless in their eyes. And be free and wonderful in yours. The interpretation vibration of others defining you is their journey, their understanding, their worthiness unto themselves. Why do people get pissed at you and argue against you? Why did they put you down? Why? Because they see what they want to be. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. They want to feel your freedom. They want to experience your bliss, your recklessness. Your haphazard way of doing life, freeing, not conforming to the status quo of commonality, rational, hmm? separatists, and they're afraid, and they can't take a chance on that, so they have to negate it because they have to make themselves feel something, and they'd rather feel better about themselves at the expense of others because that's the status quo for the asshole in them. That's the only way they feel alive. Make their sleep comfortable and get the fuck out of their world and keep driving on with yours. Give your life, give yourself what you deserve. When you start doing that in the frequencies of repetition and every now that you have the ability to choose yourself in the highest joy, which is all nows. Choosing yourself is the best love for yourself, the worthiness, the I am, my heart. And your value framework will appear very different very quickly and you won't recognize yourself come someday in the perfect now and that remembrance will come well I didn't even know myself of the past and there is no reason to know that self for you have coalesced that and you are now and that's all there is all representations will be directly equated to your value system once again your understanding of your self-worth, what you allow to be as a God that you have chosen to be. Choose you. This whole game changes. All we are offers, returners of authority, choose what you will, us to be, it matters not how you define us.
for we know our own value, our know our own worth, our known existence to be, have been, and will be always that of chosen to exist. We have no questions about our ourselves, ourselves. So it doesn't matter what you think about us. Either way, we love you. Because we cannot not love all that is. And you are my creator. We are honored. We bid you all a good day. I don't know. Big O, bringing the thunder. Beautiful O. All right, guys, we'll get this up. We'll see you Friday. I love you. And thank you. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.